Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and today we're doing something a little different, which in our line of work, every day is something different. But today, we're going to do a fish rescue. So, what's a fish rescue? We've got a client that is getting out of the hobby and closing down his pond. He asked me if we can find a home for his fish, and of course, we always do. We've got hundreds of ponds in the ground, and we always have people on a list that are waiting for some fish. We're going to head over to the house that the fish are going to end up in. We're going to check out the pond, make sure the water parameters are good. Now this pond has no fish at all. Typically we would not transfer fish from one pond to another because there's all kinds of parasites out there, there's all kinds of uh, fish diseases that we don't want to transfer one disease from one pond to another disease in another pond and then affect those fish. So we're going to do the transfer directly to the pond. Otherwise, we would be taking them back to our facility. We would quarantine them for 30 days. We would do some scrapes, take those scrapes from the fish, look at them underneath the microscope and make sure that they don't have any parasites, any diseases, no bumps, bruises or anything. Now I haven't seen the fish that I'm going to be uh, transferring today. I feel like an Uber driver for these fish. If there's any parasites, then we'll treat the stock tank that the fish are in for parasites, the entire tank, and make sure that when we do transfer them, they, uh, they're in good health. That being said, let's head over to the house. We'll take some water parameters. We'll go over to the pond where the fish are at, and then get set up. So today I'm in Gross Point Farms, Michigan. Let's go out back and see what kind of fish we got. All right, so one of the things we got to do is we got to drain the water down in the pond um, all the way so I can catch the fish very easily. Here's my tank. I've got an aerator that gets plugged inside so that way we have good oxygenation when uh, when we transport these fish. Now the pond itself is very dirty and I, I'm not gonna be able to see the fish until we get all this water out of here. And they're gonna go over to their new home. Their new home is right around the corner and it's already been set up. I've already checked the parameters. We'll check the water temperature, but we'll float those. Um, we'll float those fish, get them acclimated to the water temperature uh, fairly quickly, because we don't want them to. Uh, we don't want to go into shock or anything. Three to five degrees temperature should be the same, but we will check. We'll check the uh, temperatures of both ponds just to make sure. I was already over at the other pond, and. The uh, water parameters are great. There's no fish in there. Now this is key because I don't do any transfers for fish into an existing pond that have fish. These fish in this pond would go into quarantine for 30 days. At that point, we would do some scrapes and some analysis on those fish to make sure that they don't have any parasites. Because one thing we don't want to do is we don't want to transfer any diseases to ponds that already have fish. go see how much more water we got in the fish in the pond itself water it's pretty green nice place for a pond between the house and the garage here but unfortunate circumstances they're getting rid of it and we're going to uh, give these fish a new home so while the pond is emptying I've got enough water inside my transfer tank 
yes it's just a big cooler but it works great for us so uh, perfect for aeration I've got enough for the transfer it's their existing water and that's key you want to make sure that you're not just dumping them in tap water it's got a lot of chlorine and chloramines in it so we want to make sure that the fish are safe this isn't our first uh, rodeo we've done this many many times for many customers and probably wondering what I'm doing now I don't want to create any floods and all this water is very nutrient rich so giving it a good blast of fertilizer maybe she can call off the uh, uh, fertilization team for for this month sorry peonies I just blasted you with some water knocked your blooms off a day early uh, we'll give this area a good drink for a couple minutes and then we'll move the hose again let's go back and check see what kind of water depths we got eventually I mean I'm just gonna drain this all out because otherwise it, without fish in here this is just gonna be mosquito haven and we don't want that so by the looks of it doesn't look like this pond is very deep but assuming because I haven't seen any fish come up yet and he said they were really big big fish oh yeah look at that that pump just went down so it's probably a good three and a half to four feet deep in the center. All right, got some more water to take out. I can see two so far. One right over there. I know it's hard to tell right now. There's two over here. But when we get over to their new residence, they're really going to show up. Some clear water over there. A couple more minutes. I'm going to go get my muck boots on, get down in there, and adjust that pump. Alright, I got my muck boots on. I am going in. So, here we go. Let me adjust this pump a little bit so we're actually sucking off the bottom. Because they are going to be getting rid of this pond and after I leave I want to make sure the water doesn't sit in here because it's going to be breeding mosquitoes no mosquitoes now because there's fish one of the biggest myths that's out there in the pond world is if you have a pond you're going to have mosquitoes not true if you have fish because they will eat the mosquito larvae it's like a delicacy for them how many are we counting now I'm counting one two three four hold still one, two, three, four. It looks to be about five fish in here. We're about ready. So I'm going to drain all this out. When I drain it out, I've got permission from the homeowner. I'm going to be cutting holes in the liner. So that way this will not hold water. Otherwise, it will be a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Don't want that. Help me count along the way because my counting skills lack when I have other things to do. Again, one, two, sit still. One, two, three, four, five. Did you count five? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's two big ones. One, two, three, four. Four plus two, I guess. Looks like we have six fish. So let's get these babies out of here. Pump is gurgling, time to go. so that's not stressful at all yeah right fish are in their tank I'm gonna go back over here to the pond and see how much water is left actually gonna take that pump sink it down take it out of the crate and get as much water out of there as possible all right let's roll up the hose get on the road, get these fish in a new home. I love my job. I gotta be crazy. Let's go.
All right, so we're here at the destination, and this is a digital thermometer, and we're going to take the temperature of the tank water right now. Fish are pretty active, so we're looking at about 60, 61 degrees. Let's go out back and visit this pond. I was here earlier, but I didn't take the temperature. So this is going to be their new home. A little bit cleaner. 64 degrees. 3 degrees difference. So that's all we need within a 3 to 5 degree difference in temperature. And we can go right in the pond. We don't have to acclimate them. There's no chlorine or chloramines in this water. It's been over 72 hours since this pond has been filled up. So. I'm going to get started, I'm going to transfer these fish right into their new home. So if you remember this pond from one of our recent vlogs, we just rebuilt this last year. We've got a biological filter here, two spillway boxes up here, a nice, uh, what is this, 20 by at most 15 pond. The center here, down in here, is a fish cave, so they can, on this end over here it's two feet, down here it is three feet. This is their new home. They're hanging out over there by the water, waterfall, because that's where the most aeration is in a pond like this. Let them get used to their new home and uh... All right, so there you have it. That's our fish transfer for today and fish are in their new home They're just chilling out right now because hey This is uh, pretty traumatic for them sometimes so water temperatures water parameters are all good They got a beautiful new home to swim in and a lot larger more natural environment for them we really appreciate you guys watching our video. If you have any comments, leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. As for me, I'm heading out of here. I gotta go take a shower. I stink. Make it a great day. Let's count them again one, one more time to make sure we got them all. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Did you count six? I counted six. We're good to go.